So this question says, line L in the XY plane contains points from each of quadrants two, three, and four, but no points from quadrant one. So I'm a big fan of as soon as I see something mentioned that can be drawn, right? I use the strategy plug in picture. So because we're talking about an XY plane, but the question does not provide an XY plane, I like to just draw my XY plane. So line L in the XY plane contains points from each of the quadrants two. So first of all, let's label our quadrants. So this is quadrant one, this is quadrant two, this is three, and this is four. So hopefully you recall that from school. Um, if not, here you go. Make sure you remember that. Um, so our line L is in quadrants two, three, and four, which means we could have something like this. Doesn't mean that line L is exactly that line, but just so I have a visual on how that's possible, um, I'm gonna draw that line. So, but no points in quadrant one. So the drawing, my line L is in quadrants two, three, and four, but not quadrant one. Which of the following must be true? Okay, so answer choice A. The slope of line L is undefined. Well, an undefined slope is a vertical line, and there's no way you can have a vertical line um, so that's out. Choice B, the slope of line L is zero. Well, L, like the slope of zero is a horizontal line. This is definitely not horizontal. And there's no way for me to draw a horizontal line that goes through those three quadrants. Choice C, the slope of line L is positive. Well, I don't think so because again, if I were going from this point on the line to this point of the line, I'd have to run. So that's gonna be to the right, which makes it positive, but I'd have to go down, which means it's negative, so my rise over run would be negative divided by positive, which means my slope would be negative, which means that my answer must be choice D.